Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our stack series and this is going to be the last video of our stack and we have learned fairly amount of stack and where to implement stack basically and in this video we are going to look at a lead code hard problem and after this you would be like master in stack and would be able to do any stack question easily okay so without any further ado let's uh, dive into the question so given an array of integers height Representing the histogram's bar height, where the width of each bar is one, written the area of the largest rectangle in histogram. Okay, so let's go into our whiteboard and see what does it mean. Okay, so these are histograms of height six, two, five, four, one, five, and six. Okay, now we can make rectangles with it. Like uh, we can make this rectangle. Okay. We can make this rectangle, right? And we can make this rectangle, this one. Okay. What would be height of this rectangle? It was going to be two into width, which is one, two, three, four, eight. It is going to be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay. What about the uh, area of this one? This is width five and width uh, height is five and width is two. So it is going to be what? 10 okay cool so this is what it is okay hmm. now the question arises how will you solve this question yeah. the first thing that comes in my mind is suppose I take an element suppose I take 4 here okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to find its previous smaller which is 2 and suppose it was not 1 was something greater than like suppose six okay currently and this is two so what will happen is this would be the width for the left and this would be width for the right okay and what i'll do i just multiply the width suppose w is the width and i just multiply it with the height which is four and i'll write get the area so I'll do this for every element, but suppose I'm at six. So it doesn't have a previous smaller. So that's not an issue. I just put it as I'm not, I'll not operate on it. I just operate on the right one. And similarly, I'll do other stuff. Okay. Hmm. And, 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 and what else I can do? Oh, okay. I guess that is enough for the logic that logic would get us. Right. So let's clear it a bit again so we can have like more space yeah okay let's see the green hmm. so if i'm at like if i have to find the previous smaller and next smaller what can i do we have like learned about previous greater and next greater in our previous videos we make it using our stack so we are going to use a stack to make previous smaller array and next smaller array and for every element we'll find the width using these two and multiply it with the area uh, with the number of that index element okay and which is the maximum we we'll just multiply it okay i guess uh, you understood what we are trying to do here okay that's a very basic approach now the thing is I want to do it one single loop like for previous smaller I have to make one loop for next smaller I have to make another loop but what if I want to have a single loop only I have to work on a single loop how can we do that well we are first trying to code it and I'll uh, teach you it side by side so you can understand it better okay so we have talked that we are going to use a stack right so let's make a stack of int s and let's have int n which is going to be height dot size okay and we have our int res which will store our obviously maximum value and, and what else what else what else what else hmm, i guess that's it for the variables now i am simply going to traverse i'll say y not s dot empty and and 
heights has dot top greater than equal to heights i i'll have a int tp as a dot top and i'll simply as dot pop so what is happening here is see i'm going to create a stack and what i'm going to for every i i'm trying to find the previous smaller of it right we can find it using this way suppose if the height of our top element is greater so we'll remove it we'll remove it we'll remove it till the top element is smaller than our i element okay now what will happen to this top element so if i remove a top element its previous smaller would be the new top element of the stack okay that makes sense and suppose uh if i removed it that means the ith element is smaller than it so that means its next element is our ith element yeah so that is how we are going to find the next smaller and previous smaller in one go so in our int answer we'll simply write if suppose if s was empty so i won't have its previous smaller so i just have i as with otherwise i'll have the with as i minus s dot top minus 1 and we'll simply multiply it with uh heights i yeah okay that makes sense and then in res i just put max of either res or answer okay and in the end i just as push i cool so this makes perfect sense now we have like okay let me take a situation let's use a different pen hmm. okay this one doesn't look good right Let's check to our basic. Let's see the red one. Yeah. Okay. Suppose this was our stack, right? And uh, suppose here it was two, and here it was four. Okay. And now we have one here. It was one five. Okay. We just keep it one five. Hmm. So we have one five here. Hmm. So now we are at one. So for one, we pop out four. Is that correct? Yeah. Could be empty for one. We popped out four for four. Its next smaller is two, and its next uh, its previous smaller is two, and its next smaller is going to be the one one. Right. Okay. Cool. so i'll just you know compute that thing which i already did in the code so you will understand it but what i'm trying to say is now for one two is also smaller so i'll remove the two part okay mm -hmm. now i'll have one here in this stack now i'll come at five five um what would be five i'll insert five also right I'll insert six as well. So what is happening here is that these elements one, five, six they don't have any next smaller, right? You can see one don't have any smaller, five don't have any smaller, and six obviously don't have any smaller. So how we can solve for these? We can easily solve by using it previous smaller for six. we we'll find a previous smaller for 5 we are going to find a, do a previous smaller and for 1 we are going to do a previous smaller so for 6 previous smaller if we have to solve uh its previous smaller is going to be 5 obviously for 5 it is going to be 1 obviously and for 1 since it is empty the whole thing would be the width all right so let's try and write that code as well so i'll just simply write while as dot empty i am going to write in tp or 
yeah we'll call it s dot push as a top sorry my bad as dot top we'll remove the top element right and now our int answer is going to have depends on s dot empty suppose if s is empty so we'll have with us n otherwise we are going to have with us n minus s dot top minus 1 right and we'll multiply it with heights i heights of t okay and res is going to be max of res comma answer and in the end i'll simply return our uh, res okay now let's try and run this code hope this thing works Hmm, I'm getting the wrong output. What is the problem? Let's see. What exactly we are doing wrong here for int is equal to 0, lsn and i plus plus while not is empty and height of s dot top. Well, this is correct. TP we are storing s dot top and we are you know removing it and in the answer it is i and i minus is dot top minus one into heights of where okay, this is going to be heights of tp right mm -hmm. and then res is going to be max of either res and answer and i'll simply going to push it now i'll saying while not is that empty tp is going to be s dot top okay s dot pop and in the answer we are going to have either if s is empty we are going to have n otherwise n minus s dot top minus one into height cp and res is max of res and answer and in the end we are simply returning answer okay i don't think we have any problem here as such hmm okay so that was the only error now let's try and submit this then it works okay it works sounds cool okay so we have solved a very hard question of our lead code and based on stack so i hope you guys get the fair idea of stack and how to use it and from the next video we are going to look at another data structure which would be probably q or else you'll know it when we are going to start it okay and if you have any doubt regarding this uh, video and algorithm just comment it down in the comment section i look at it and thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos